My name is Beatrice. It is difficult for me to put my testimony into words because my whole life is an open letter of God's wonderful love. When we surrender our life to the Lord, the process begins in which Jesus transforms our heart, our actions, our way of the thinking and speaking, our tastes, our desires. That is exactly what happened in my life. Since I was a little girl, I already had a personal relationship with God, but I had not yet been born again. My parents were Catholic. They later gave themselves to Jesus as adults, and I remember them telling me stories about Jesus and his father, uh, who was a carpenter. I remember my dad holding me in his arms, talking to me about God. For that reason, I could kneel at the foot of my bed and talk to him in my own way. I had a sister who was uh, already married with children converted uh, to the gospel, but she lived about two hours away from my mother's house. In her church, they had camps for children and youth. So one summer when I was 13 years old, I asked my parents to let me go to one of those camps. There I experienced love, mercy, and salvation through Jesus Christ. My eyes were opened even more when I returned home with the seed of the new birth, I began to throw away all the holy cards about saints and virgins that my mother had because I had understood that there is no other mediator between God and men but Jesus Christ. That did not please my mother who despite believing in God fervently, still continued to pray to those saints. And fortunately, my sister lived far away, and I, being only a child, uh, did not remain in, my, in the world and began to live a life of ups and downs between God and the world. In that period of my life, until I returned to the Lord, I had many difficulties and the enemy took advantage of the situation to try to harm me in every possible way. But in his great mercy and love, the Lord could not let me. From time to time, I heard his sweet voice calling me more than once, taking care of me, looking for me, crossing paths with people who spoke to me about the gospel. God worked many miracles to bring me back to his way again. Until one day, after so many ups and downs in life, the love of my beloved Heavenly Father conquered me. I surrendered completely to him. I was baptized and he called me to serve him, which I had been doing even when I was far away from him. This next stage of my life is also filled with many difficulties, hard trials and painful situations. However, God was faithfully by my side, and miracle after miracle, mercy after mercy, made His love captivate me in such a way that there is nothing in this world that can replace the precious personal relationship I have with my beloved Lord. I fell in love with him, but he loved me first, even when I was far away. 
Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you for all that you have done. Do and will do for me. Amen.